Over 30 million Americans have diabetes, with most of those people having type 2 diabetes, and over 80 million individuals have prediabetes, conditions that can lead to a vast array of complications ranging from blindness and amputations to reduced immune functioning and even dental problems. Now, while most of us are aware that exercise and weight loss and eating better can improve blood sugar and diabetes, might there be another way? Enter Pendulum Therapeutics, a company that takes a different approach to blood sugar management. Pendulum Glucose Control is a probiotic supplement. Taking two capsules of the Pendulum probiotic supplements contain 10 billion of these five probiotic bacteria. Notice as you read this list, the letters and the numbers at the ends of the bacteria these letters and numbers represent the strains of the bacteria being used. The strain is the exact type of microbe that's being used in the supplement. Some companies may only tell us the first two names of the bacteria. That would be the genus and the species of the bacteria. By giving us the third part of the name, that zeroes in on the exact type of bacteria that's being used. Now, as for how this supplement is said to work, to quote the company, the probiotic bacteria in Pendulum Blood Sugar Probiotic lowers blood sugar levels by helping us produce short chain fatty acids such as butyrate. The mechanism behind all this is complicated, but essentially the short chain fatty acids like butyrate help us raise insulin levels, which in turn lowers blood sugar after eating and eventually lowers hemoglobin A1C levels too. And while we're on the topic of butyrate, I'd point out that it appears to have a variety of actions in the body, including suppression of cancer. Okay, so, so much for butyrate and short-chain fatty acids. The real question, however, is does pendulum blood sugar probiotics actually work? Improvements in postprandial glucose control in subjects with type 2 diabetes, a multi-setter, double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled trial of a novel probiotic formulation. In this three months investigation, which was conducted by the company that makes this supplement, 76 people with type 2 diabetes were given either the pendulum glucose control supplement or placebo. Those taking the glucose control supplement by pendulum had over a 30 point reduction in blood sugar after three months and they also had a 0.6% decrease in hemoglobin A1C levels. As is pointed out by the American Diabetes Association, if you could decrease your A1C level by one point, for example, going from 8% down to 7%, you would have reduced your risk of diabetes problems and complications by 21%, and you'd experience almost a 40% reduction in other diabetes complications, such as kidney failure and blindness. The Ackermansia bacteria that's in the Pendulum Therapeutics Blood Sugar Control Supplement is interesting because People who have more Ackermansia bacteria in their gut tend to be overall more healthier than those who have less of this bacteria. Other researchers have observed reduced Ackermansia bacteria levels in people with alcoholic-induced liver problems, as well as in people who have inflammatory bowel disease. Equally interesting is that research suggests that the diabetes drug metformin also increases acromancia production. And if that is true, is it possible that some of the blood sugar lowering effects of metformin are actually due to its ability to shift gut health, promoting more acromancia bacteria? Now, that's an interesting theory, but it's going to take a metformin versus acromancia bacteria study to prove it. Okay, so some things to think about if you're going to experiment with this Pendulum Therapeutics probiotic supplement. As for side effects, in that clinical study that I mentioned a little bit ago, mild nausea and diarrhea were reported by some people within the first three to five days of use. Not everybody experienced those issues, however. So if you were going to try this probiotic supplement, maybe starting with less than is recommended for the first week may help cut down any side effects that you might experience. Also, if you have this supplement, you're probably also going to notice that inulin is also listed on the label. Inulin is a soluble fiber that's used in this supplement and other supplements, by the way. Inulin is a prebiotic. Remember, the Pendulum probiotic supplement contains live bacteria. Because they're live, they have to eat something. 
Inulin is a prebiotic. It is the food of probiotic bacteria. So the inulin acts as a food source, helping ensure that the bacteria remain at full strength until you take it. In their own clinical study that was summarized above in the video, some of those individuals were also taking metformin. That said, glucose control is not a drug, it's a supplement, but it's a medical probiotic and it's best used under your doctor's supervision so they can regularly test your blood sugar and your hemoglobin A1C levels. So definitely speak to your healthcare provider if you use metformin or other diabetes drugs. So based on the available evidence, the pendulum probiotic supplement appears to reduce both blood sugar and hemoglobin A1C levels when used for several months. Because this is a medical probiotic supplement, if you do take any medications, it's always best to do it under the supervision of your doctor who can monitor you regularly. If you've tried this supplement, leave a comment below and let me know what happened. Until next time, I'm Joe from supplementclarity.com. Take care.